I love entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, to me, wherever they come from in the world, are the heroes of the business life. People who actually get out there and have the guts to start things, the innovators, the creators, the inventors, the people who do it, who get out there, have something bursting out of their mind, and have the courage to go out and do it, they, to me, are the real, real heroes of the business life. Not the big corporations. I have an aversion to big corporations, actually, although I'm likely to be running one now, but not the big corporations. I must say, if anybody around my board table ever says proudly, as you hear so often in corporate life, somebody says smugly, they're risk adverse, I always feel the prickles of rage come onto me because it is not possible to be risk adverse and to build things. There is no virtue in risk aversion. But I have a belief with a passion, actually, that Everybody, everybody wants to enjoy their work. Every single person in this country wants to get up in the morning and look forward to going to work and to feel they're in an honourable profession or honourable job and to feel they're doing a good job and to come home in the, in the evening and feel they've been respected and they're using their life correctly. Everybody wants to enjoy work. I think any entrepreneur who's going to get through has got to have a tremendous sense of self and be convinced that they're right. Um, any any, somebody referred to, Philip later referred to James Dyson earlier. Now, if James Dyson didn't get his uh, ideas from, his design ideas, his magnificent design ideas from market research, they came out of James Dyson's mind. Anita Roddick didn't acquire the idea of a body shop from market research she, or, from, or from focus groups. She got it out of her own mind. And typically, Entrepreneurs have a stunning ability to dream up something which they know is going to work and then do it. 21st century is happening on us now. Entrepreneurs will, fall, will, will, will spring forth, and it's not just in cyberspace. Cyberspace is going to be enormously important to us, obviously. But watch also the low-tech world. Watch also low-tech investments. Watch also uh, the fact that it's, it's not so difficult to give examples of hundreds, thousands, millions of products, probably low-tech as they may be, that will build and prosper yet more the 21st century and the 20th. And that's where a lot of the um, entrepreneurs will be found. Look, the 21st century entrepreneurialism, entrepreneurialism in the 21st century is going to be the same as it is in the 20th century, the 19th century, and the 18th century. The same things, the same sort of people will always come through.